Hi! I hope you're doing great. Now for this video, we're going to learn about cycloalkenes. Now this follows right after knowing the basic rules of nomenclature of our straight chain alkenes or our branch alkenes. Now we go to the part where you see double bonds in a cyclic structure. So how do we name cycloalkenes? Now credits to Vanderbilt.edu. This is what I used also in the alkenes basic rules for naming because it's great that they have examples and their rules are very simplified so i'm going to use this also for our discussion in this video so very basic very simple the first one is cycloalkanes are named in a similar way as cycloalkanes we number our cycloalkenes so the double bond carbons always get numbers one and two and the first substituent is the lowest possible number so in these examples here of course we begin where the double bond is so we might do this one two three or we might do one two and then we go clockwise so remember that the same with cycloalkanes we need to get the lowest possible numbers for our branch or substituent. So granting that we already hit carbons one and two because that's where the double bond is, decide where to go clockwise or counterclockwise such that it will hit the substituent or substituents and give them the lowest possible value. So for this example, the correct way of numbering will be the counterclockwise direction we begin from one here then going up until we hit number three where the methyl branch is there we don't do this way one two such that methyl will be carbon six because six is higher than three so this is the proper way and how do we name them same thing we need to mention the carbon where the branch is so 3-methyl and of course we say cyclohexene because it's cyclic and of course it's just one double bond so we say cyclohexene okay so that's the basic rule for cycloalkenes numbering now if there is a substituent on one of the double bond carbons it gets number one so for example you have this example okay there is a substituent on one of the double bond carbons your ch3 is in one of the double bonds that carbon will get number one so that carbon with the branch and it has a double bond should always get the number one spot even if the other substituent will get the higher number so this will proceed so proceed over the number of the next branch so this is the correct way of numbering that this carbon will get the number one number and then we go all the way to two three four and then five will be for the other methyl not going this way one and then two for this carbon with the substituent not that way so one and uh, one should begin here instead and we go clockwise direction so this is the correct way of numbering and so the final answer will now be 1 comma 5 dash dimethyl cyclopentene okay so that's it if you see the branch to be located in a double bond now i'm going to share to you some some um, common names of alkenes that serve as a branch let me just zoom this okay so you see here some common names of alkenes as branches so this is a cycloalkane and this one is a branch so the common name for this is ethenyl or vinyl and the iupac name for this is vinyl cyclohexane hexane sorry vinyl cyclohexane hexane because it's an alkane so vinyl cyclohexane this one is a to it's an allele actually it's called 2-propenyl and you can also name this a yupak way so you can say allele cyclohexane so it's just a matter of familiarizing the names of these alkenes as substituents so this is a vinyl or ethenyl or this is an allele if you have three with one double bond or or two propenyl 
And this one, if it's just one carbon and then double bond branching out, we call that methylene or methylene cyclohexane for this case because you have a cyclohexane. This one, you have two carbons and one is a double bond here. So ethylidine or the IUPAC name is ethylidine cyclohexane. Please write this down on your notebook so that you'll be able to repeat them and familiarize them in the future if this comes out as one of the items. And we also have some non-IUPAC names of some alkenes that's non-cyclic. So if you see the basic, the simplest alkene that you can have, the two carbons, we call the, that ethylene or ethene. Okay, ethene is the IUPAC name. The non-IUPAC name is ethylene. If you have three straight chain alkenes with one double bond, we call that propylene or the IUPAC of that is propene. This one is four carbon with, with a double bond, but the other one is a branch and that is a methyl. So we call that isobutylene because iso comes from an from the word isomer, so it's the isomer of a butene or, or a, yeah, butene. So we call that isobutylene. But when we name the, this IUPAC way, we call that 2 dash methyl. And of course, the parent is three carbons propene. And this one is an isoprene. An isoprene is a five carbon, but with two double bonds. And one is branching out as methyl. So the common name for that is isoprene. But when you name it Ayopakwe, this is 2-methyl, 1,3-butadiene. Because this is 4-carbon with 2 double bonds. So 1,3-butadiene. So this is just the first series of cycloalkenes naming. I want you to watch out for the next series of videos for more examples on naming cycloalkenes. And we will add some more rules. What if there will be more than one double bond in our cyclic structure? How are we gonna name and number the carbon carbon atoms? So watch out for that, for that next series. So for now, don't forget to always keep on learning, relearning, and unlearning. This is Madam Narka saying goodbye and keep on studying and never give up. Bye.